Okay, we're rolling on camera iPhone 11 Pro Max and action. Hey guys, it's Al and I'm hanging out here at the fire pit. The fire pit's right there and I'm right here. <laughs> and I'm using mixed cam, which is giving me front and back cam. Okay, so anyway, that's the setup. This is an educational film about how to make a movie on a budget, a really, a really low budget, because mixed cam's free, okay? And uh, I got my friends here. To my right, which is over there, it's Steve. He's off. He's a, off camera a little bit, but he's my boy, okay? Scott, I just met Scott, he's over here. Scott's my boy too. Scott's, Scott's teaching me about how to make, 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 make a movie. <laughs> Chris, he's teaching me stuff I never knew of. And then on main screen, you get my home girl, Tara, right over there in the background. And Tara had to go do her hair and makeup. I just did my hair and makeup. Okay, here's hair and here's makeup. Okay, that's done, I'm good. All right, we're good, we're, we're all beautiful. And uh, this film is going to be about um, my movie concepts and my first movie concept is called Undercover Landlord and I have a little notebook I made some notes you see that look it's a freaky you see my notes green screen okay movie magic baby okay let's get started oh this mix cam app I'm using is just really crazy if I had to have a green screen behind me that's basically what we're doing but mix cams doing it real time and mix cams a free app that you can get on the Apple Store or wherever and uh, I really highly recommend it mix cam if you see the watermark, it's because I didn't pay for the pro version. All right, here we go. So, Undercover Landlord. Um, if How many of you guys heard of The Truman Show? How about The Apprentice, okay? Undercover Boss? Okay, so I'm gonna do a Al Gregg's version of all those three things wrapped into one that I call Undercover Landlord. And the movie concept is that I'm gonna raise um, an A round, an A series funding round with either investors, accredited investors, or a hedge fund, or maybe we'll crowdfund it through Indiegogo or Kickstarter, okay? Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna, me and my people who, who wanna see this movie produced, they're gonna help me buy this luxury apartment complex called Alia or Aura, which it is now, right? In Vieira, Florida, right? We're gonna buy this cheaply, cheaply and poorly maintained luxury apartment complex, and we're gonna turn this place into the most Okay, here's my landlord. I'm good. Now listen up. Yeah, Steve. You see, I got you, bro. So we're gonna we're gonna do undercover landlord, and basically we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna evict the assholes. Okay, we got a lot of assholes that live around us. They like to complain about everything. Oh, you're swimming too late. Oh, you're making too much noise. Oh, you're smoking cigarettes on the balcony. Blah blah blah. Evict, evict, evict. Right? But we're not gonna evict them like just like that. No, we're gonna have the sheriffs come. And it'll be an immediate eviction because once we buy this apartment complex, we're going to add another lease addendum, okay? And it's going to have all these little rules. You complain to the office, boom, you're out. You don't pick up your dog shit, boom, you're out. And if y'all, y'all ain't seen nothing. Y'all think I'm funny? Wait until me and my people start evicting these assholes like they complain about shit, all right? <laughs> these bougie ass little rich bitches in this luxury yeah. apartment complex going to complain about this, shit? This oh, no. oh, no. Video. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is, is going to be funny. <clears throat> so that's what that's what we're gonna do because you know what we're gonna need room for the movie crew because as we evict these assholes from from aura we're gonna make room for some the best movie people in the in the industry to come live here in Vieira, florida right to come work with me to make not only this movie and this reality show but a whole bunch of other movies right and i'll be producing it with my people and i'm gonna teach other people how to direct because i ain't got time to direct all the movies i gotta make all right so undercover landlord and it's gonna be a some seriousness, there'll be drama, it'll be emotional because people will be like, oh, I'm getting evicted, oh, what, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, too late, sheriffs are here, get the fuck out. We're gonna have the moving truck, a moving company, and it's gonna be an immediate eviction. It'll be in the clause. Oh, you signed that lease, baby, you got to go. All right, so y'all down with that? You're Steve in the background moving fast. What? We, I got to say what you're saying, Tara. What you saying? Oh, we'll be moving them out. Like, be no, that's too much work. We're going to have people do that. I know pe people in the furniture industry. I can take care of that. Yeah, we'll, 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 we'll have people for that, Tara. I have that business. So we, we ain't doing no heavy lifting. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then the recycled furniture. Oh, you don't want to take it with you? We recycled it. Let's go to Goodwill. So that's, uh, yeah. And then as part of that, I'm gonna turn my old apartment into a, a, a movie, uh, a museum, an art museum. And we're, we're, gonna have, we're gonna have to get some other houses for the uh, production company. So I'm gonna buy three houses in Cocoa Beach 
and we'll be filming there. I'm gonna buy three houses in Modern Duran. This is only $10 million for like three houses in Durant, Mount Duran, it ain't that much. We're gonna buy those houses, we'll be living there and there, and, and uh, we're gonna have this place wired for sound, wired for camera. So like, if someone doesn't pick up their dog shit, we're gonna have red lights and alarms going off. Wah, 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 wah. Pick up your shit, You're the, get the fuck out, go to the office. It'll be like high school, right? And it's gonna be funny, guys. We're gonna have to have, we're gonna have to have counselors. We're gonna have to have counselors come and give people some uh, emotional support. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Watch. <laughs> and then we're going to bring in all my Burning Man people. All my Burning Man people are going to be coming in here helping make movies. We're going to have pool parties every fucking day. We're going to have pool parties every fucking so night. So you're going to be the next Hugh Hefner, I guess. I'm going to have, have contract women. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of them. A lot of contract women. Yeah, you're going to see. Everybody's going to want to be my contract girl because like, I'm going to be paying well. Be pay all right, where do I sign? They'll make... They'll the make They'll make a quarter million a, a quarter million a year just to be uh, my little pretend girlfriend for camera, and then I, once I get once I get a harem, we we'll have to have a special tent for that. We'll put that off off property. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a drum the drum circle tent. Yeah. What do y'all think about? Do y'all think that would be funny to watch though? Would that be funny to watch? I, I think I. Absolutely. Okay. I run across all kinds of stupid shit on YouTube all the time that I watch and just laugh at. But this would be funnier because yeah. it's gonna be. This, this will be great. It's gonna be nonstop. I can't say names because we're recording this, but yeah. Everyone who complained about me, watch. Everyone who complained about me, watch. Nobody needs to complain about you, Al. You're a good man. No, but people Fuck have. Them. People Fuck have. They wrote people. In. They complain about my art. Oh man, yeah, yeah. Al's a, yeah, yeah. I was smoking a cigar by the lake. It's all right. Because once I own the place, Miriam will work for me. 